boxes have been stacking up, so uh, you know what that means. Let's kick this off with uh, some Nike packages. I got a couple of them, and they've been sat here for a minute, so uh, very keen to open them. <sighs> This one is uh, actually been selling out pretty quick. So let me give you a little look at that box. We got the Black Cat 4s. I don't know why these don't come with paper. Is that normal? Damn, you get the extra white laces too. This is a little bit of a bittersweet moment because getting these in hand is making me really regret getting the Nigel Sylvester's because these are pretty much identical in terms of material. So there's no more like argument of them being more premium than these. These are just as premium, but just cheaper and a solid black color. These actually go hard. Look at these things, man. Just solid black. This is literally the Black Cat fours but uh, the RM version and you know what it's like more of these Jordan 4 RM start releasing the, the things get a little bit weirder so this biking element that's throughout this pair of shoes that we thought was reserved for the Nigel Sylvester collaboration you know because he's a biker well it extends to the entire lineup like you could see underneath here this is just a GR colorway no affiliation with Nigel Sylvester but you got a little bike logo over there same thing is on the box over here you got the bike the same freaking bike logo so like the whole Jordan 4 RM Nigel Sylvester thing really bleeds into the GRs, which I don't know, I think it's dope. Like, why not? This is a affordable option to the Jordan 4s and a nice little switch up. You want something a little bit more comfy, a little bit more padded, something that's low cut you can rock with, shorts that looks dope. I think this is such a cool pair of shoes. Let me know if you picked up a pair of these things. I'm just super glad that I managed to get them for retail and um, I don't know if they fully sold out or not. All right, we got a little Halloween release that I've been waiting to get into, but I knew I'd save it for you guys. So let's get into it. We got that. Mamba box, look at that. The X-Ray Kobe's. Damn, these things pop on camera. Man, I love the freaking footprint on the top. The little X-Ray, I think it just goes so well with this color. Like the freaking iced out bottoms. That looks dope with the blue. Now these things do glow in the dark as well. Like it is a full on like Halloween style release. These things are sick, man. This is like probably one of the cleaner Kobe's that have dropped. I know that they're a little bit out there, but if you were like looking for another pair of Kobe's, this was probably one of the highlights of 2024. I freaking love these things. Now I know it's a Kobe 5. I don't know if like people are super stoked about the 5s. I think they prefer maybe the 6s or the 8. I don't know. I like them. I think this is dope. You got the Kobe signature around the back. Let me know if you picked up a pair of these things. I'm very glad to have these in the collection. Just a little bit late though for uh, Halloween. All right, let's go ahead and get this giant Adidas package out the way. Basically, there's two sneakers in here, two pairs. Disclaimer, I don't know if either of these are any good, but we're gonna find out. All right, random first one. Which one is this? Oh, double papered. Ooh, okay. This is the Adidas Infinity Nova, or Nova Infinity. Not bad, not my favorite material. So this is an extension of Adidas's Infinity line, or the crazy line originally started out as like Kobe shoes, but I feel like they've done so many different versions. Versions now it's kind of its own thing and this to me is like the least polarizing option like some of them look insane I think it's a dope looking pair of shoes so it falls into like a lot more of a normal category they definitely do have some of that infinity DNA especially on the midsole like this little curve here in the center definitely screams that you've got an insane amount of padding on these around the ankle area like the ankle area is super puffy it almost reminds me of like a skate shoe but obviously this is like you know basketball DNA in here I really like the look of these just a little bit weirded out by this material because I thought it was going to be suede or some kind of like you know softer material but this just feels like some kind of synthetic almost plasticky feeling material so I think maybe the bread color or the black one had that softer material these ones do not but it's certainly an interesting looking pair of shoes that is relatively affordable and I just really like what Adidas is doing with their basketball style shoes. I think this one's leaning a little bit more towards the casual side. Underneath it says designed in Los Angeles, which I thought was pretty interesting. And then this one's got uh, a real question mark behind it. This is also a relatively new or it's an old shoe, but it's, it's recently brought back. This is the Adidas Mega Ride. This cannot be comfortable. Like this is solid plastic around the back. What is this? A little bit rubbery, so you might have some cushion. So basically I'm made a video about all of like the most trending sneakers and one of them I bought was the Nike Shocks and I happen to really like that pair of shoes just in terms of like the way that it looked it was something that was pretty cool but it was still kind of retro so I saw these I was like damn Adidas this is pretty much the exact same thing as the Nikes I wonder did they catch a lawsuit for this or something but it's very very similar this was a pretty cool 
cool looking pair of shoes. I don't know if I prefer these. There's something a little bit strange about the top down look. They're just not as like slim as the other ones or they just have like a slightly weird top down look like it's really puffy around the top. I thought I'd pick them up, maybe compare them to the Nike Shocks because I just thought it's so interesting they're doing the exact same design. I want to know a little bit more about who did it first and what was the whole like inspiration and idea behind this pair of shoes. Adidas Mega Ride. These are wild. Let me know what you think of these. While we're at it, we might as well get all of the massive boxes out of the way. So let's let's see what's in here. But this is weirdly heavy for what's inside. Like, I don't know, maybe they are heavy. Once you see what's in here, you would not expect it. Have they gone like ultra premium on here? I think they have. Whoa. Okay, so imagine like what, what brand could be making something like this? Huge box. Not that brand. What the hell is that brand doing here? Designed in Colorado. That is, this is crazy. This is very unlike Crocs. <laughs> we got the Balenciaga Crocs, but just without Balenciaga. Yo, this is hilarious. Let me pull them both out. And for some reason, you got a little carrying handle on the back. Use it as a jug. Just put a bunch of stuff in here and then just chug whatever's inside. Damn, maybe that's it. They made this thing for shoeies. So you fill this thing up, you grab that handle, and you just chug. But here you go. This is the uh, the Crocs. I don't know what they're calling this. The Hydra boot or something like that. They cost, I think, about $150. And this is made by Crocs themselves. Obviously, pretty much identical to the Balenciaga ones. Or like the whatever ones Ye was wearing back in like 2020, 2021. So it's a giant black rubber like Wellington boot and honestly I just bought these things because the story behind it is so weird like Crocs did a collaboration with Balenciaga on those like $1,000 ones and now they're here granted a little bit late I feel like the trend might be over of this style of shoe they released these things for 150 why did they wait so long and how close is this to the Balenciaga ones because back in the day when those things first released I bought those and I tried them out I made a crazy little video it was funny it was fun to check them out maybe if you were after some kind of like you know giant black boot that you could wear around that would be the exact same as the Balenciaga ones. This is like an affordable option, like a genuine affordable option. Let me slip my feet into here and just see how they feel on foot. If they kind of feel the same as those Balenciaga ones. I mean, they give you a bit of height, I ain't gonna lie. Let's see. Giant black boots. They're actually pretty comfortable to walk around in, not gonna lie, like they bend really nicely. They're soft. Let me know what you think of these down in the comment section. Would you wear them and would you get them over the crazy Balenciaga ones? Because if you take the Balenciaga ones, it, that's insane. All right, next up, we got a very special pair from uh, the good people over at No Two Ways. A little signed card from uh, Calix. If you guys know the YouTuber Calix and Rockwell Princely, who is the designer. Look at that, you get like the London skyline you get a bunch of is that a rat why does that look like a rat on the paper oh boy this is the blueprint colorway extra pair of laces why not this is such a sick colorway so a couple little details you get a little like london skyline on the tongue there as well as like what this represents is uh if you've ever taken the london underground the little trains underneath the ground uh, that's you'll know that like that's how it looks with all of the stops so that's the basic explanation of that colorway is really really dope just overall it's got those you know those fragment vibes maybe like that nice royal blue with the black and the white it's a very easy colorway to be like yeah that is just aesthetically really nice and if you've never tried the model one from no two ways it's my favorite model that they've ever made it's like super comfortable it looks freaking dope i love all of the paneling super premium for the price point like these things are ridiculously affordable for what they're offering one of the best like affordable shoes if you haven't tried them out november the 7th these are going to be dropping i think they're super limited but if you want to be a part of No Two Ways history and cop a pair, now you know the date. Super thankful to them for sending these over and always sending their different pairs over that they drop. Love No Two Ways. Thank you guys. All right, let's get into these things. This one's a pretty crazy one. Not gonna lie. I think I'm late on this one as well. This was supposed to be like a Halloween release. <laughs> we got the freaking Catacomb Mules. That is crazy. Look at that. Like you've got all of these skulls. So apparently these were like modeled after real skulls or something like that when they were telling me about this pair of shoes they were like yeah they, we 
scanned a real skull to get this. I don't know if they had a real skull um, or if they, I don't know, used an image. I don't know how that works. We're not gonna talk about that anymore. Bottom line is you got a bunch of skulls on these things and that looks pretty wild. So if you guys don't remember, Atrion is that brand that made the ridiculously soft 3D printed slides. So these are 3D printed as well. They're just now in a mule format and they've got a bunch of skulls on them, which is pretty wild. I think they've made some changes because these are not as soft as the other ones, but they do still have that kind of like mesh design. I actually think it's probably better that it's not that soft because those things were just like sink into the ground. You can kind of feel the ground. They were so soft. Let me slip my feet into these things. Yeah, I mean, they're comfy. They look pretty wild though with all of these skulls on. I actually quite like this, but you shout out to Atrion. They're always doing such wild designs and I'm always so uh, happy to check out all the crazy stuff that they're cooking up. This one is a long time coming. I don't actually know why I didn't pick these things up sooner, but the point is we finally got them now and how the hell do you open this? What's going on? All right, we got them in. Look at this unboxing experience. The flaps, the flaps on it. This is luxury. Hey, look at that, man. What are we opening? Some freaking jewelry or something? You get a little this velvety paper. The Amamenya Jordan 4. Extra laces, you've got sail, very nice, and white. Sail and white, and then on the shoe is like a monochromatic kind of, I don't know, what is this, like a light pinkish tan? Damn, insane unboxing experience. That is so nice. Definitely one of the most luxury Jordan 4s I have ever unboxed. These things feel incredible. You've still got that sock liner in there, that velvety quilted sock liner. The big question is, do I prefer these to the originals? Which one do I prefer? The OGs or the new ones? Ones. I think I prefer these. I think I prefer the new ones. Like this, just that little bit of a subtle material change with this suede around the toe box. The rest of it feels very similar in like material wise. It's got that like, you know, that tougher leather nubuck material. And I just feel like these with that lace swap, if you swap these laces out, they're going to break up a little bit. So you can have like, you know, the white or the tan, the sail, and that would just break up this monochromatic look a little bit. I also like that the branding kind of pops out a little bit, whereas like on these ones, it's just all black. This one is like more on the plain side. Side, and these are cheaper. These are a lot cheaper than these, I think, now, anyway. It's actually crazy that the hype for these was not up there with like the first ones or just up there in general. Like this is a very, very well done collaboration. I don't know, maybe people are just tired of like, you know, Imam and your collaborations. Is that it? Like, because we just had the threes, now we've got these and they've already done two other colorways of both of those. We had the fives. Like, is there too many Imam and your collaborations at this point and people are kind of tired of seeing the same colorway being used? This one is a little bit different although you do have a lot of that burgundy type color or this brown that's on the bottom. Like that's all a very, very your color. And I just wonder if people are sick of it. Let me know what you think about these down in the comment section. Why is the hype not there for these? Why? Final package, pretty excited to check these things out. We also got some pretty good news. <sighs> got that, uh, that brown box in there. Probably one of the best packaging that we've seen from Jordan Brand this year. But uh, I guess this is where like a decent point portion of the 200 bucks you're going to be spending on this pair of shoes is going towards this packaging. Oh. <laughs> This is the Travis Scott Jumpman Jack Dark Mocha. Do you get like a black dust bag this time? Is it the same as the last one? I think it is. This is like uh, something I would carry around regardless of the shoes. Like this is something I would actually use. Now, of course, you've got a bunch of extra laces. We got white, we've got black and white, and then we've got brown to match the rest of the upper. And they are feeling, they're feeling good, guys. This is... Very nice material. I actually think I prefer this uh, this new buck or this suede to what we saw on the sale colorway that was just obviously leather, which was decent leather as well but I think I prefer the feel of this suede. It's really nice. A little bit unsure about this Nike swoosh. It's uh, it's suede, but it's like a nappy type suede. So it's just, I would definitely prefer a leather Nike swoosh. I wish they did, they just went with like solid leather. I think that would have made it stand out a little bit more. This is as Travis Scott as a colorway gets. This is uh, a lot closer to the original Jordan one that they did, which I think is why a lot of people are being like super excited about this pair of shoes. These are gonna be dropping on the 16th and the good news about this pair of shoes is apparently they have made three times as many of these as they did the original sale colorway now again that's not saying that much because that pair was so incredibly limited 
but at least these are going to be a little bit easier to get and the resale price shouldn't be as bad as those. I mean, the more I'm looking at them, like I'm looking at them in the monitor, the more I'm looking at them, the more I'm liking them. I think these are pretty good. Let me know what you think of these down in the comment section. Are you going to be going for them or is this a pass? And what do you think of the Jumpman Jack in general? Of course, I'll do, uh, I'll do a little full review, throw on some different outfits with these things. So stay tuned to that, subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you're going to be going for these on November the 16th. And if you want to check out another video, click that one right over there. Thank you